So thank you so much for taking my call. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you for you know for your interest in us. <laughs> Thanks for having us. <laughs> Absolutely. I know you guys have been doing calls um, all morning. I spoke with some of my colleagues who have chatted with you already, and we're really excited to do so. So I'm hoping I'm not asking you to do the same things that they did. But um, one of the things I'm really curious about, um, as a parent myself is, you know, with kids that are watching the Olympics, obviously very interested. Um, would you guys encourage your own children to pursue an Olympic dream, having gone through, of course, what you have and achieved what you have? Of course, the Olympic dream is not the first goal. Uh, obviously, if our children decide to do it, my husband and I will be there to nurture and guide their passion and explain to them that it's a long and hard road and the sacrifices that are going to be made are going to be a good thing but it's going to be a difficult road and they have to you know be ready for that and of course I don't want to ever push that I don't want to push that upon them and say you have to go because your mom went and I just want them to be the best that they can be and if they choose to pursue that avenue my husband and I will be there first to support them in every step of the way but I want them to find something that they're passionate about and then nurture that passion because ultimately they have to live their own lives and they have to do what they love and if that means gymnastics is far that great if not I'll support them in, in whatever else they choose to do and my husband feels the same way how about you Jenny exactly like Dominique said and I think having been through it we we've experienced a lot and we've experienced a lot of parents who force that upon their children and it just doesn't work and I think it is so important like Dominique said for them to find their own passion and it's got to be the love of the game deep down and if that love isn't there it's just not going to work and and so I think it, it first and foremost it's you know expose them to as many sports as possible and, and find out which one they love and, and which one they have a passion for and then of course support them all the way and like Dominique said the Olympic gold isn't the medal I would say first and foremost just going out there having fun to start and then maybe a college scholarship and then you know of course but it, it's so much fun and I remember being a little girl dreaming about wearing USA across my chest and then having the opportunity to do so so um, you know and that's one of the greatest things about the Olympics is it inspires so many and it and it, you know, plants that little seed of that dream within them. It is really neat to see, like I said, as a parent and, you know, with a four-year-old already saying, I want to be an Olympic diver, mm -hmm. and obviously it's a bit premature, but um, it, it is great. And thanks for that, that answer because I think it's really important um, for parents. I think, Dominique, you said that originally was that that's not the first goal. You know, that the first goal is maybe to find something and um, Jenny mentioned exposure, and that was actually going to be my next question, is how do they find what they love? And I guess you, you pretty much answered it just to have them, would you say, play as many sports as they, as they can? Or, you know, how do parents find what they love, I guess you can say? I would say exposure is the key and, and getting them the opportunity to experience those different sports. And I think, too, timing is huge, you know, cognitively, emotionally, physically. Kids don't develop the same. And, you know, each kid is an individual. And that's something that Dominique and I were talking about earlier is to each their own because, you know, these little guys are – and, and girls are, are individuals themselves and you know we can't all you know be along this cookie cutter way and and if you look at all the Olympians they didn't all take the same track to get there and so I think it is you know nurturing their individual self and encouraging them and and maybe they didn't like it at five but maybe try it again at eight years old and they do like it because they are ready for it and so I think it, you know constant exposure is the key and I think you know putting that pressure aside and just really in encouraging them to have fun and, and enjoy it and, and knowing that it is about a game, you know, it is ultimately a game and it is about the spirit of play. Um, well, thank you again for that answer. And, and um, just to kind of go backwards a little bit, my website is called Double Duty Divas and we, you know, work with uh, bloggers and moms who kind of attempt to do it all, even though we know that doesn't always work. Um, I'm sure you've been asked this before, but obviously you're at the pinnacle right now of trying to do it all. And um, what tips might you have for my, specifically my readers who are managing so many different things, having careers full-time or being home with kids full-time while they're blogging, while they're moms? Um, any tips that you can offer? 
Certainly. Uh, I think balance is the key in, in anything we do in life. We have to find that right balance so that we'll feel at peace and whole within ourselves. And I think prioritize well, set little goals, make sure that you have you know many goals during the week that you want to accomplish. If it's getting in that workout, get it in because you're going to be a better parent at the end of the day. And don't forget, just because you know your children and husband and family is placed first, doesn't mean mom has to come last in everything. Try to make some time for yourself to really get that workout in because it'll help you feel so much better you'll have so much more energy and uh, you'll be able to chase your kids and, and last a lot longer with them and and that's what I've helped uh, what's helped me along the way is being able to make sure that I squeeze in that workout and eat healthy proteins vegetables and uh, lean lean proteins are extremely important as well as fruit so that nutritional component is also a key key factor and I think too I know myself as a working mom I've kind of thrown in the towel of perfection and you know, coming from sport, you strive for that perfection, but I think becoming a, a working mother, you realize it's just not going to happen. And it's all about, you know, being the best mom you can be. And, and whether I'm, you know, working in that moment, I'm going to be the best that I can be as a working mom. And so I think it's just living in the moment, too. And I know a lot of times, you know, I'm multitasking six things at once and none of them are any good, you know, versus, okay, I'm going to give my little ones an hour and I'm going to be you know, just completely into them and give them my, my um, whole attention and, and then go on from there. And so I think it, like Dominique said, set little goals and ultimately, you know, all you can do is, is be the best that you can be and the dirty laundry, the dirty <laughs> dishes, you know, I, I'm, I, I kind of have pushed that aside. Just, you know what, it's going to happen. It's okay. I'd rather enjoy my little ones than be cleaning the house right now. So I think it's all about priorities and keeping those priorities in order and, and making sure ultimately that uh, your family knows that they're, they're first and foremost. Great. Uh, thanks for the um, advice. Finally, one quick question for Jenny, just kind of a, an Olympic one. Um, I'm wondering just how you feel about uh, the Olympics as a showcase for softball and baseball and your thoughts on it being reinstated. It's very disheartening and, you know, it's come to reality, I think, seeing the Olympics and, and not seeing softball and baseball. And so it's been uh, bittersweet, obviously, the Olympic spirit and, and the movement is something so very special and I would never take anything away from it, but it's been hard. You know, especially being a female athlete because this opportunity has only grown and now for it to be taken away and I know so many dreams of of so many all over the world have been crushed and um, you know there's a big gap in my heart that's missing and that is not seeing baseball and softball there and we are working hard to petition and try to get it back in so next year we'll know if, if we'll be able to get it back in for 2020 which um, we're hoping and and I'm hoping that dream can can come back for so many. Um, well, I, I, good luck with that because um, I completely agree with you, and, and I know that the sport has only gotten bigger, and, and so many girls are, are playing, especially girls playing softball and, um, and baseball, too. You know, it's so important. I, I really am I'm rooting for um, it to be put back in. So um, I really you. do want to thank you because I know how, how valuable and precious your time is, and um, congratulations on both of your success, and thanks again for your time and partnering with Campers, a brand that – I personally know and love and is a supporter of moms and, and the spirit of play. So I really appreciate you uh, having a few minutes for me this morning. Thank you. Thank you.